Hey guys, it's Yvette. Today we are doing this beautiful, sultry cat eye look. I'm obsessed. Like, it's smoky, it has a cat eye effect, and it was actually not too long to do. Like, if I wasn't talking, this probably would take me about 40 minutes, and that's normally how long I take with, like, a natural look. Flawless, these products all just blend so seamlessly perfect together. This whole combo makes my teeth look... Shining bright white, Crest, hire me right now. It looks like I got my makeup professionally done. It looks face tuned. Wow. If you guys wanna see how I got this look, then just keep on watching. I'm super excited about this look today because I just felt like beating my face. I haven't done that in a while. So, what? That's visual proof of me getting distracted easily. So you guys already know the drill. Starting off with my NYX brow glue at this point. NYX, you gotta give me a, you gotta give me a discount code for my followers. Like. It's getting out of hand now. Now I get so many of you guys saying like, I just went to go get myself some brow glue and I'm very happy for you guys. Shaping these girlies. Oh no, I'm running out. <laughs> There's like a little dabbler of product. So this is going to be a perfect step for today's look since I do want the focus to be on the eyes. And then I'm always making sure to take off the excess glue from the edges because then it gets caught onto my foundation and then it looks a little funky. I'm gonna start off with the eyes and then we'll go on into the face. I'm doing the eyes first because I have a lot of darkness going on and I don't want any fallout, just in case. Got my little coffee. I'm going to be using my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Light Yellow Corrector. And you guys can use my code IVET10 because I will be using a lot of LA Girl products. I say this in every single one of my videos and I am not even sorry at this point because you guys should know if you have been here for a while that LA Girl is really my go-to. We always need to start off with a base. So I'm going to be taking this and my little Spongebob sponge. And I'm going to be cleaning up my brows too. I'll probably do that right now. See how juicy this Spongebob sponge is? Like ever since getting this Spongebob sponge, I have not stopped using it. It's so good. Now taking a brush that has some powder left over on it. And I'm just setting my lids for now. So I'm taking the applicator from my concealer and I'm just cleaning up my brows. This is just to make it look like I got my brows done. I'm gonna go ahead and blend it out with my finger. By the way guys, this is the powder brush that I've been loving to use. This is like a slanted kabuki. And this is the LA Girl 105 brush. And I did not mean to pick out this palette on purpose, but this is the LA Girl Break Free palette. And this one has all of the orangey shades and it's just amazing. I did another tutorial with this before, but look at the packaging. It's one of those holographic ones. So I'm first going to be going in with like this orangey transition shade and then going in with the actual orange and just blending it into our crease and creating that good base. Placing the transition shade because I'm like okay now I see the vision and making sure that I also take it in here in the inner part of my eye. And with a smaller little brush I'm taking this orangey shade placing it right into the crease like exactly into the crease and a little bit above. We're not trying to make this orange too pigmented. We're going to diffuse it with another color. Taking like a wash of this onto my lids and going back with our transition color, we're gonna be taking this shade right here and then this brown here. I kind of want to just neutral it out a little bit because I don't want it too orange. And then once you get all those colors laid out, take a clean brush. This is a clean fluffy brush and this one's by Anastasia. And I'm gonna diffuse it out. And since we don't have our foundation on, you can feel free to just like drag this out just to get a good blend. And now with a little tiny brush like this. I've had this brush for years, like back when I used to go to eye mats with my mom. And I'm taking the lightest shade right here and I'm gonna be placing it right here on my brow bone. And now for the fun pot. So we're gonna be going ahead and smoking out some liner right across our lids. So I'm taking this tiny little brush and it's called the LA Girl 206 brush. And this color right here, it's the darkest shade of this palette. Be very patient with this guys because if you put too much dark at once and then you mess up, kind of hard to go back. Notice I'm just taking it section by section and not going crazy. This is why I said we need like that wash that we did earlier of the orange like this. And it's okay if it's not a straight line because when we do our foundation, our concealer is going to be cleaned up. But pretty much just do the line with the length that you would prefer. You can start off with the liner, you can start off with the shading on top. Really doesn't matter as long as you're being careful with the amount with the amount of pigment that you're using. I feel like if you struggle with eyeliner, 
using shadow really helps to practice. And it's okay if it's not perfect because we're just trying to smoke it out. I feel like just dragging the color and the shape of your liner really helps too. And I'm going to clean up the edges because I kind of want to see how it's going to turn out. Cute. I kind of want to add like a little bit of a darker shade on the lash line though. Okay, so I have this little mini palette. This is the Teddy Bear palette by Too Faced. I've been dying to try this, but there's just this one color right here that's just slightly bit darker than the shade that we're using right now. So I'm going to have to use it. So taking the same brush, and I'm just going to be lining the edges of my eyes so it's just a tad darker. Oh, this looks already so much better. Now we're going to have a small little break, and we're going to be taking our LA Girl Nude Beige Foundation. This is not the matte one, guys. This one is the more dewy, natural finish. So I don't use a primer, y'all, because I just go in with this, and it lasts all day. So this is a bomb foundation. You guys always yell at me like, I thought you don't need that much. I like that much. Leave me alone. Even my makeup artist, Rubina, you guys know her by now. She is always like, do you want to do like a soft full face today? And I'm like, Rubina, you know that every time you ask me if I want to do something a little tiny bit more natural in the face, it's a hard no for me. It still looks delicious, but I prefer like a full just layers on layers and if you guys haven't checked out my in-depth nose contour today i'm doing it a little bit quicker than usual i will be linked down below because everyone has been telling me that they've been trying it and that it's been like a lifesaver because before they didn't know how now they do and some some of you guys told me that you followed with me like the moment that i released it and you guys said that it came out impeccable so i love to hear that fun fact actually very sad fact guys uh whenever i go to the gas station or anywhere really in public, I make sure that I dress as bummy as possible because men are creepy. Like, guys are so scary and that's just so sad. I feel like girls should be able to go out without feeling like they're gonna get, I don't know, attacked. Repulsive, like I look like I haven't showered in 12 days. Like I go like that on purpose sometimes. Ma, like, let me get your number, like why are you playing hard to get? And like just being real creepy, like there's sometimes where men have gotten like really close to my car and like I freeze up sometimes just because I, I feel attacked. By the way, I'm using the light yellow corrector and I'm also using Tawny to mix in together so it's not super, super light. I'm putting a little bit down here. Can you guys tell how much I love my light yellow corrector? Skinnier than Mariah Carey. Oh, here comes the daily Armand Bon. Hello, Armand Bon. You wanna show everybody your haircut? Guys, it's Armani. And he got a haircut. My handsome boy. No, baby. Oh, he's sweating. Since he has like short hair right here right now, I can feel his sweat glands. Yeah. He's always yawning whenever I put him on camera. Hello. Oh, he's done in a little bit. Now taking the LA Girl Banana Yellow Powder. And uh, we're playing it right under here. I'm gonna put this on the places where I would normally get oily. Now while we're baking, I'm taking my LA Girl Brunette Slim... I don't know why I had a brain fart there. Shady Slim Brow Pencil, and this is what I always use. I just usually like to take some little strokes right here in front of my brows to create some hairs. And then taking our same powder brush that I showed you guys earlier, and I'm patting in all the powder by the end of my makeup my hair usually gets all crazy like this because i have to really get in there for like my contour and stuff and speaking of contour now i'm going to the contour i feel like i don't even have to say this anymore but i'm gonna keep saying it for my new viewers this is the la girl warm caramel bronzer actually this isn't a bronzer this is a pressed powder but i use it as as i want as a bronzer and the brush that i'm using is the la girl 111 brush and look at how it applies Wow, so good. And I feel like I don't even have to clean up my bronzer because look at how clean. I've always wanted to actually become a singer since I was young because the first artist that I was ever introduced to was by my mom, which is Gwen Stefani or No Doubt. And I always just was so inspired by how Gwen Stefani would dress. Such a vibe, like her 20s. I went to two of her concerts. It was amazing. My first concert was when I was, I think, maybe eight. I don't know if I told you guys, but I was using beautiful bronze. Um, same as my nose contour routine video that I did. I like to make it a little more dramatized. And I put this powder over top, snatch it up. And you really don't need to snatch it up, but I am a perfectionist. 
While we're baking and in the oven at 420 degrees, we're going to take our dark color again right under our eyes and creating our little peak right here. I'm just creating a little shadow here. I am going to define it with an actual liner. I just want that color right there in the inner part. Putting a little bit of shadow and just smoking it out. Ooh, so pretty. I love doing this. I just don't do it too often because when I do it, I want it to be special. Do any of you guys think like that? We're taking the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide on Eye Pencil. This is in the shade Demolition. And these babies glide. Like, they really always glide. Then I'll be putting on my LA Girl Jet Set Mascara. And I'm going to be applying some cat eye lashes. Some full cat eye lashes. This look already would look really freaking pretty. Jet. I know that did not just happen to me. Why me? It's always me. I hate that this happens. Good thing we had, like, our bake on there. Because when you have powder on there, it's a little bit easier to take it off. Adding a little bit more coverage back. By the way, to take it off, I used a little synthetic brush. Then I'm going to be taking our powder brush again. Then blend it up to blend. I don't know the name of these lashes, guys, but let's put them on. Alright, guys, so I also placed the inner corner cat eye, and I used the LA Girl 208, and I used my Morphe Brown gel pot i've been finding that i love gel pots for like the inner corner because if i use like a liquid liner it just always melts off and then i'm going to be using my usual becca champagne pop and taking a tiny little brush here there we go and now for our blush guys i'm taking this combo here i'm taking mac prism and kevin aquan darlene and i'm only going to be adding a dash of this because this is pretty bright but mostly this here and for the blush, I'm using the LA Girl 110 brush and taking a load of prism. And just applying this baby here. No, this is probably like my favorite look that I've done in a long time. And now for the lip combo, I'm taking a different lip combo. So I'm taking these two right here. The Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude Lip Liner. And then I'm taking Anastasia's Naked Liquid Lipstick. And then on top, I'm using Undressed Lip Gloss by Anastasia. Shut the duck up. Look at this color. What? Oh my gosh. I'm gonna fill out the outer hearts. I'm only taking a little bit of this because it is light. I always like to blend it with my finger. In high school, all I would wear is this color. Wow. Oh my gosh, it looks like I got my makeup done professionally. Now I'm taking undressed and then I also tap in the gloss. Then go back in with the lip liner because this looks a little light. And there we go. Ooh. Yes, ma'am. Let's go. Oh my gosh. This, I'm obsessed with this look. Like, I could kiss myself right now. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I am obsessed. Tell me what you guys think about this look. I honestly think it's my best look that I have ever done yet. Fire. We look like models and that's all that matters. Okay, guys. I will talk to you guys in my next video.